Hello there. Today, I'm going to tell you this story. A story of love and how some people just are no good at it or have no luck. There once was a man named Kenon. In a time not so long ago, he was an eligible bachelor with gorgeous eyes, luscious blonde hair, and a smile that could destroy a nation. But Kenon had two weaknesses. He was weak to the fact that he was a recluse. He never really met people, and he was always alone. And the second weakness was that he fell for women too easily. When he met a girl, a gorgeous one, he would always, without fail, fall for her and destroy any kind of relationship he had with her. Now, I'm going to tell you the story of an instance of Kanon. Kanon, at one point in his life, decided that he was tired of being a recluse. That he would go out and branch, and have a group of friends at least, or at least people that he had hung out with. So what he did was, he decided to join groups of people. Such as one group that he joined, where he played board games with people on Sunday. Now in this group, for the first time when he went there, he met a gorgeous girl named Felicity. Felicity had the most beautiful eyes you could imagine, and she had a personality that was just amazing. She was the type of woman that Kenon would fall for, and quickly he did. He knew on first sight that he would. Now what of this? There's not much. The story between Canon and Felicity is not much of one, but there is some. But it is more invisible than it would be visible. You see, Canon was unable to act on any of his affections, though he fell for Felicity hard, uh, even on first meeting. Even though he met her, and they had been together for hours at some point, even if it's a group. He still couldn't. He couldn't talk to him. He couldn't socialize with her. He couldn't explain his affections at all. And this was a disaster for Canon. If he had not been used to it already. So Cameron, what he did was, the more the meetings went on, the more that occurred, Cameron became more enamored with Felicity. But he never wanted her to know. He never acted on it. He just kept it back in the background. So what he did was simple. He just kept it quiet. Tried to make it appear that he had no sort of relationship with Felicity. I mean, in his eyes, it didn't seem like Felicity liked him at all. So he didn't seem like he really wanted to work on it. So what he did was simple. He did nothing. Stories don't always have a happy ending. This one is not one of them. But this story, as of yet, doesn't have an ending. Because Canon still knows Felicity, and Canon still is enamored with Felicity. And it's in a point of time where it's possible that Canon could do something about it, but Canon doesn't know. 